What's up, everybody? It is a dark skin prophet, and it's been a very, 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 very long time since I last uploaded. I'm busy with school, I got football training, you know, just the biz, business, catching bodies, fucking thotties, you know how it is. Created by JV. I heard this game took nine years to create, and then it was just pulled actually today. But I had to scour the internet and I found it. So we're gonna play it. Fuck you, Nintendo. This looks lit. It's kind of lagging on my. I don't know if it'll lag in the uh, fucking the actual game. I'm doing regular mode just because this this game is filled with fake Amon, and I don't want to get fucked over by fake Pokemon that I've known nothing about. My name is Bembo. If you find that too hard to pronounce, just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for the job, right? Great. Want to load on what you'll be doing? No, thank you. I need to have a resume. I literally lied on the resume. I'm just here to catch Pokemon. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. These, more than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People in Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some people, some Pokemon are kept as pets. Others help us with work, and others are used by trainers in battle, such as yourself. My job is study Pokemon for a living, specifically I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Oh, I'll tell you more at the first day in your on your at your first day in your I don't know, fuck it. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now if you just fill out this form here. Who are you? I'm a guy. I'm very sure. My name is Zach. Enter. Alrighty. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you are bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Ten years ago. Dot, dot, dot. Zach's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon ranger. All I'm saying is, if this took ten years to create, this shit better be lit, bruh. The mother Lucia was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. Oh, they both worked demanding jobs. I always found time to spend home with young Zack. The legend. The Tanner region was at peace and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright. Until. Oh, fuck. Here we go. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of the region expecting, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Shit is kind of dark. Okay, thank you. What to say? What the fuck? Shit's dark as hell. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator design really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. Everybody has finished work. We'll break for lunch. A uh, bus? You might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or... The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer, I just checked that. So... Oh, fuck. Must be a breach in the reactor. This temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Is this like a... What's that fucking place in, in Russia? Lucille. I'll think of it. You have to leave too. Or is it Ukraine? Lucille! Oh, fuck. It's so straight... Head first. Damn, he left the bitch too. God damn. With Cameron's help, all the scientists were to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, filling any time to try and search for her. Damn, that bitch is dead, bruh. 
The losses of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed to be cold, cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief. He got promoted to chief of the of the Pokemon Rangers of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers, where he, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Zack was sent to live in the elder, elder, with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. It's a weird ass town name. Ten years passed. My brother and I discovered the new Pokemon Ranger, a real nigga named Zack. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Okitown applied, Zack and their childhood friend, Theo. Theo sounds like a bitch. It was common for, uh, for youth of certain age to receive Pokemon to travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Zack's journey began. Zack, come downstairs, you're late. Who the fuck? Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, it's options. All right. Got a potion? Yeah, let's go. Damn, my auntie's old as fuck. Zex, what do you say's your big day, isn't it? I can't help you, but f but I can't help but feel glum. See my little one all grown up and leaving home. If only those old, these old bones could do more so that I can support us both. We both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy Theo. I was following in your footsteps, that one. Damn. I sent some some shade. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. Yep, that's shade. He is younger after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. What the fuck's my... Okay, about to say. Got shoes as a present? Man. Hold Z. You can toggle the run in the menu. Oh, shit. Sniffle. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he'd be proud of you, too. Fuck that nigga, bro. I'm positive you're running to him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to the nice professor man for me, will you? If you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Alright. Oh, fuck. I press the button again. I gotta use these controls. There we go. Woo! Let's go. Fuck. Fuck. There we go. So where does the professor live? I'm guessing downwards. All the professors live down. Hold on, what the fuck was that? Yo! Chin chin! What the fuck? I'm actually a Pokemon with my friends across the world with the power of the internet. Wow. Who lives in the pond? Probably just Magikarp. I don't think Magikarp are in this game, homie. It's dangerous to go without a Pokemon. Okay, Professor doesn't live here. Let's try the right side. God damn, that shit's blocked off. What the fuck is this? You knew my mom. Oh, well, Zach, today's the day you and Theo received your first Pokemon today, isn't it? I certainly ex Theo was certainly excited. I imagine you must be too. I remember that day. All those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it's like. It's an auspicious day indeed. Looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab north of town. Oh, of course. He's not very patient. You should probably hurry up and join him. 
So you gonna tell me that you're with my mom the day she died? Or just keep that shit to yourself? Okay, oh shit. This man live on a hill. What the fuck is that? Hey, wait up! Jesus, looks just like his fucking father. Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to level 4 me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one. First. Try to keep up, Zach. This nigga like 2 years old trying to tell me what to do. I swear to God, bro. There's always that one nigga in the Pokemon game, bro. What the fuck? You keep going, or is this the house? No, it's... Hey, if it isn't Zach, and, uh, your friend Tommy, isn't it? Damn. Don't even fucking remember the nigga's name. I mean, not like his name is worth remembering, but damn. Come on, Professor. Honestly, Pops, you can't even remember my name. It's Theo. Theo. Right, right, right. Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day to work as field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing as many different kinds of Pokemon as you can. Or... As many different times Pokemon helped me with any with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you in your journey. Before you get your starter, though, you both take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Ah, oh, fuck me. It's a test. I didn't study for any test. I thought you were going to give us rare, po rare power for Pokemon. Nah, nah, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you, you have to study for. Just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter will be your lifelong partner. So it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. She's kid, you're not very patient, are you? That's why he don't remember your name, bro. Alright. If you want to know more about what the what's on the test before we can be begin, you can talk to my aide. Now. Zach, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes. Excellent, so without further ado. When you catch you poke Pokemon Y, what is your first reaction? Throw a Poke... Attack it right away. Wait and see what it does. Throw a Pokeball at it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I feel like there's not going to be many fire type Pokemon, so I'm going to click this. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Shut the fuck up, Theo. Jesus. What kind of teams would you, would you prefer to take your Pokemon? Hyper Beam, Hidden Power, Protect. Hidden Power. Professor, what's a TM anyway? I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon are winning the all-out battle? Gyarados, Gliscor, fucking Gyarados. Hmm, hold up. Ampharos. Well, Gyarados can on Earthquake, can it? Ampharos is fucked. And Gliscor is fucked. Gyarados. Is it possible to fail this test? No, no, it isn't. Now, this is your final question. So answer it honestly. What is your motivation to become a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best. What the fuck do you think? I will catch all the Pokemon and drink all the Hennessy, bro. You don't even know. I'm going to be become a Pokemon master. Nobody's going to stand in my way. Haha, <laughs> dig your spirit, kid. That's for the trainer aptitude tests. That's it for the trainer aptitude tests. Now it's time to analyze your results. Just give me my damn Pokemon, homie. Okay, I finished my analysis. This is like a fucking kangaroo dinosaur looking thing, bro. Zek. 
You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. That's true. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. That is also true. So the best defense is a good offense is probably your mantra. That's not, but I do live by that if I play Pokemon. The burning spirit within you that never ceases. That's very true. For an offensive trainer like you... Ooh! Like an armadillo kangaroo looking motherfucker. Rap torch. Huh. Come on. Come on. Thank you. About to say, don't fucking freeze on me. Go ahead and take it, Zach. I want rap torch. To rap torch. Should I name him? Ah. Rap Torch. It's actually a really unique name, not gonna lie. Hmm. What do I name you? Fuck. What's a dinosaur? What's a dinosaur? What's something you can name a fucking dinosaur? Fuck, I'm gonna name you Ducky from Land Before. Only, only young 90s kids gonna get this. Y'all, y'all remember watching Land Before Time? Shit was lit. All right. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Jesus Christ. Zach got third Pokemon already. When do I get mine? I'm done an analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. Theo. Well, you certainly know what kind of what to make out of life. You're impulsive and patient, care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something in you. Could it be a seed, a seed of greatness, the potential to transform yourself completely, or maybe it's just what you, you're so young I can't tell. Damn. Regardless, for a trainer like you, you got a shitty ass little. What the fuck is this? Damn, about to get the work. Yes, my first Pokemon. Jesus, I hate this kid. Zek, you have a Pokemon? Now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. <laughs> it's okay, Professor. You're going to get the work. This two year old little bitch, bro. Holding an Ultra Ball when he got his first Pokemon when comes in a Pokeball. Interesting. What the fuck? Let's go, Ducky. Oh, shit. Hold up, I another move? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Didn't do any damage? What the fuck? Holy crap, dog! What the fuck is this? Hey, let's go! Fuck you! So normal types don't affect it. Huh. So fight. I have Ember. Let's try Ember. I don't know. Probably like... Grass and Rock, maybe? Ooh! <laughs> Catch this L. Damn, give me all them games. What? But I was supposed to win. Nobody wins against Zach. You have to know this now. But, but, how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. I, I, ah, get, out the, get the fuck out of here. No, let him cry. Bitch boy should have known. 
Here, I have your Pokemon for you two. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and Zex, theirs is the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, grass beats water. That's the element of type triangle, or well, one of them at any rate. Leading to master types of master master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. In no way I want to do a rock and it's a better starter. Why this isn't fair. I'm going home. God, I fucking hate this kid. So he took that harder than I hoped. Nah, let him. It's time he knew. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He's just a kid, after all. Well, I expect he'll, he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't easy. Isn't as easy as he imagined. I don't even worry about it. Let, let him run. He's going to attach an alley every time he battle me anyway. I'm going out to the entrance of Route 1 by the end of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Zach. So we should probably stop by Grandma's house, and then Theo's bitch ass house, and then the professor's house. That's my house. Oh, honey, you came back to say goodbye. How sweet is that your Pokemon? What is it called? Raptorch? It's so cute. Come back when you rest, or if you just want to humor your old aunt. That's all. I shouldn't have come back then. Thought I was going to get something. <sighs> Fucking old ass people, bro, I swear. Where's this bitch ass nigga's house at? I'm down here. I oh, look, bitch boy, still crying. Yeah, try go up to your room, pussy ass nigga. What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I uh, swear, if you did anything to hurt him, man, you ain't gonna do shit. I'll fuck your ass up, you old ass bitch. I ain't afraid of none of y'all. Oh, so that's how it is. So you got the weakest sword and you beat him in a battle. Hmm. I see that explains it. A hard session to be sure. Losing is much part of being a Pokemon trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect. So losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. So crying won't solve anything. It's something he has to learn. You think? Theo! Come downstairs right now, young man! That's right. Open that door, bitch. You can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of being a trainer. But but it isn't fair. Zuck got the better starter than me. And now I'm never gonna win. You have to catch more Pokemon to balance your team's weaknesses. Besides, well raised Pokemon can still, even at a disadvantage, can still win even at, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yes, Dad. Now, Thea, I want to always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? Zach, please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. I nearly forgot, Zach. I have something for the both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Zach, your father Kellen sent me these to get to both of you when you began your journey. I'm sure it'll become useful. The fuck is a Pokepod? Pokepod? What's that? Hikes it device indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region, but more importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool, here I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. Meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Zack. You forget you're still 0-1. Punk-ass bitch. We'll talk about a dramatic turnaround. He bunches back quickly. Zack, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, do you? So you should get moving, too. I won't see you in Theo for some time. I see him starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant. Epsilon? Epsilon? Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it is the latest... It is the last place Lucille has ever seen. 
Best of luck on your Pokemon journey, Zach. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> this bitch boy. Hey there, Zach. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as Pokemon trainers and a field research aid. Now watch closely. Wild well, Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit inhabit tall grass. But that's not the only place you can find them—in caves and water, and even cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet to find a new Pokemon. Time to take a few steps and. What the fuck is that? Look, it's a wild chin mug. They're very common around here. That's noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go, Elitux. Oh, shit, looks awesome. This little guy was the other side of Pokemon you could have received. What? I think he's taking a shot at me. I rather like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. God damn it. Now it's time to weaken... No. Elitex, use Tackle. Chin! That's dirty, but you freaking sucker punched the fucking Pokemon. You pop out? Now it's done. Now chipmunk are fairly easily, but you're sure to encounter Pokemon that take a lot hard that are a lot harder to catch. Capture. For those money to inflict them with status effects, or use special Pokeballs. Or just use special Pokeball. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Zach, Theo, these are for you. Pokédex. That Pokédex is, is an encyclopedia that will automatically update itself when you encounter or catch a new Pokémon. It's very important for my research, so make sure to fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Now we catching everything. <laughs> you may call any time, it'll take a look at how your Pokedex is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have a special reward for you. With that said, even back in my, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journeys, both of you. Okay, Professor Elm. You fucking fraud. You want to get work again, Theo? Zack, I don't care to get the strongest starter. I'm still going to be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tens of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. I can't wait to kick your ass again. Good lord. Such a bitch. Hold up. Let's see what's in here. Let's go. A lot of fucking damage, Jesus.
You already know what I'm naming him. Alvin the Chimmunk. Haha. <laughs> Level up? Yeah, let's go. Alright, this seems like a good stop place to stop for part the end of part one. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I guess comment, rate, subscribe, all that good shit. I'm a Probably level up my guys off screen and catch more Pokemon in this little patch of grass if there are any. And in the next part, we will accomplish Route 1 in Kevlar Town or Kelvar Town. Something town. Next town. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll catch you guys later.